Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which finds sum of all elements in a n array tree. First, let us take an example. Sum of elements of this tree will be 10 plus 2 plus 34 plus 56 plus 100 which is 202. Now, let us see the approach. The approach is similar to level order traversal in a binary tree. We start by pushing the root node in the queue and for each node while popping it from the queue, we add the value of this node in the sum variable and push the children of the popped element into the queue. In case of a n array tree, we store child nodes in a vector. Thus, put all elements of the vector in the queue. Now, let us see the algorithm. Let us also have a sample tree to test our algorithm. We pass the root node which is 1 to function sum nodes. So, root will point to 1. Next, we take a sum variable which we initialize to 0. Since root is not null, we take a queue and push the root node which is 1 into the queue. Since the queue is not empty, we enter the while loop and now we take a variable n which will be equal to the number of elements in the queue. Since there is only one element in the queue, n will be 1. Since n is greater than 0, we enter the inner while loop and now we take a node p which point to the front of the queue. Then we pop an element from the queue. Next, we add p's value to sum. So sum will be equal to 1. In the next step, we enqueue all the children of node 1 into the queue. So we run a for loop from 0 to the number of children of 1 that is 4 and enqueue the children into the queue. Hence, 2, 3, 5 and 6 will be enqueued. Then we decrement n. So n will be equal to 0. As n is not greater than 0, we break out of the inner while loop and continue with the outer while loop as the queue is not empty. Now n will be equal to 4 that is the number of elements in the queue. Since n is greater than 0, we enter the inner while loop and now p will point to 2. Then we pop 2 from the queue. Next, we add p's key to sum. So, sum will be equal to 1 plus 2 that is equal to 3. Next, we enqueue all the children of 2 into the queue. Since 2 has only one child that is 4, we enqueue 4 into the queue. Next, we decrement n. So, n will be equal to 3. Since n is greater than 0, we continue with the inner while loop and now p will point to 3 which is the front of the queue. Then we pop 3 from the queue. We add 3 to sum. So, sum will now be equal to 6. Since 3 does not have any children, nothing is enqueued and we decrement n. Since n is greater than 0, we continue with the inner while loop and now p will point to 5 and 5 will be dequeued. Next, we add 5 to sum. So, sum will now be equal to 11. Since note 5 does not have any children, nothing is enqueued and we decrement n. Since n is greater than 0, we continue with the inner while loop and now p will point to 6 and 6 will be dequeued. Then we add 6 to the sum. Next, we enqueue all the children of 6 into the queue. So 7, 8 and 9 will be enqueued. Then we decrement n. As n is not greater than 0, we break out of the inner while loop and now n will be equal to 4 as 
there are four elements in the queue. Since n is greater than 0, we enter the inner while loop and now p will point to 4 and 4 will be dequeued. Then we add 4 to the sum. As node 4 does not have any children, nothing is enqueued and n will be decremented by 1. Again as n is greater than 0, we continue with the inner while loop and now p will point to 7 and 7 will be dequeued. We add 7 to sum and as 7 does not have any children, nothing is enqueued and we decrement n. We continue with the while loop and now p will point to 8 and 8 will be dequeued and added to sum. Again as 8 does not have any children, nothing is enqueued and we decrement n. Since n is greater than 0, p points to 9 and 9 will be dequeued and added to sum. Since node 9 does not have any children, we decrement n. So now n will be 0. As n is not greater than 0, we break out of the inner while loop and as the queue is empty, we break out of the outer while loop as well and return sum. Hence, sum of elements in this tree is 45. With this, we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.